is it ever my pleasure to introduce to you in our test drive for next year season 22 23 season of natural skier test drive the brand new mindbender ti 99 ti for next year and when i say it's my pleasure to get a big smile back on my face because the first time I did try the Mindbender in the first year it came out, I didn't get this big smile on my face and I was like, oh no, because the pinnacle was so good and the Richter, Richter was so good. And now the Mindbender is super good. As today, it is icy, icy hard pack on the grooms here in Saint Sauveur. The uh, 99 Ti is able to handle this and cope with this with ease and fun and power. And right now it's a 184, so it's a lot more ski than I used to have. And then it becomes a player in the big leagues of the Mantra. Same family, different brand, vocal being in the same family. Uh, business-wise as uh, K2, but it becomes a player such as the Bonafide and all these heavy guns from the 95, 96 to 100 range millimeter under the foot. And this Mindbender, first of all, is super cool looking with this uh, camouflage type being 134, 90, and 120. I'd say the radius is around 18 from my feel to it. And I think the success of the construction of the ski is because of the wide titanium beam. And you can see that they came back to what was the success of the pinnacle before is this titanium chassis that you see in a 3D profile on the outside then full titanium under the binding as you push on your edges and then behind it is only concentrated in the inside of the ski to maybe have a tail that releases a easier the turn at the end of the day do we we really care if how it is constructed yes or no the only thing that matters is how is it built on the how is it built and how is it make me feel when I'm on the snow with it. Do I want something else in my feet or I just want this in my feet? And I'm very much surprised to see how stronger it is from the tail. It used to be very very soft on the tail and for a guy who used to ski race skis where we we use a lot the tail of our skis to accelerate in the turn now it seems and look a bit stronger on the back of the ski because of the way it is built. All right. So would I take this as my only ski, one ski quiver? The answer is yes. Especially in the titanium format. Would I take this to Lake Tao to ski the grooms? Yes, to ski in the moguls. Yes, to ski in the bowls. Yes, 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 yes. So for me, the Mindbender is a great, great ski for the next season. In the 2022-23 season. And I mean, I'm not probably at your eyes the most qualified for these free skiing skis. But if it does what it, I need it to do on the grooms and it's able to go in the glades and it's able to go in the moguls and it's able to go in the bowls, then it will do whatever you want for you. Because I'm maybe more specific regarding the way it bites on the ice and it works on the hard pack surface. And if I want to open the machine and do big long turn at Tremblant from top to bottom with a big smile in my face, the Mindbender is able to cope with that very well. So there it is, the Mindbender 99 Ti for next year on 22-23.